Hey guys, I am here with fellow TV host, also fellow St. Louisan, also fellow July 22nd birthday. Crazy, right? Also, we have the same pop socket on our phone. <laughs> like, the parallels just keep going. It was basically the same person. Nikki Boyer. <laughs> we're here at Ronald McDonald House in Hollywood. What, what are we up to today? Um, we're approached by uh, Coa Camps and Care Camps to come and be a part of a sing-along. So we came and just sang some songs and hung out with the kids and just kind of connected and spent some time and tried to spread a little joy. Sometimes when you're going through treatment, and you can get stuck in the day-to-day, -day, sometimes having a little music and people from the outside coming in to let you know that they care and are thinking about you, that can help your yeah. spirit. Yeah. yeah, and music is therapy, music is Isn't medicine. It so? it's, it's very so healing. I know, definitely. I'm a hot air balloon that's going to space. Oh my goodness, it's been so loving here. It's like, I'm, I, they made me feel so welcome. In fact, I know everybody here now, they know me. They don't want me to leave, they're gonna miss me. So I've been cooking a lot, so everybody likes what I cook. Oh, and that's so great. So you get some little comforts at home. And yes. You know what's really neat about that though? Sometimes I go out there and there's, this happened last week. She's cooking with a mom from, um, I think the mom's from Iraq. Mm -hmm. They don't speak each other's language. They don't, they, but they're cooking. Together. And they're just kind of doing that thing. And then the other families come and they see what's there. And it just, it's really cool to, and it just kind of happens organically, you know, it's kind of neat. So whenever they can get together for something like this, they'll be talking about you guys for forever. Oh, oh absolutely. Really? Oh yeah, they already came to me and thanked me for bringing you guys here. You know, oh and I'm God. like, oh, I didn't do anything. You guys just came. I love this. It's really, really cool. My brother is a cancer survivor. He had uh, cancer through into his entire 20s. Wow. And um, it's just, I just saw the care that he got and how much he was, um, a priority in people's lives and I just I couldn't believe how beautiful it was and I just it, it just touches my heart and so my sister also had cancer oh I didn't know yes. this yeah <laughs> our life is like that's very wow. bizarre yeah wow yeah sorry yeah I'm sorry I know it's tough yeah. right it's the being work. a sibling and trying yes. to help and fix and do and and that's what I think a lot of the kids here too are siblings and yeah. all of them are the ones getting treatment so this is really special for the whole family to get yeah. involved <laughs> I knew you were going to Anybody else want to play this tambourine? Get a break from the day in and out of what cancer is like for the whole family. Right? Okay. So one person has cancer, and yeah. everybody. So everybody. It affects everybody. So this is super special that you decided to do this. And I know that you also support care camps. Yes, and care camps is doing something so beautiful because if you think about it, kids go away to summer camp. The children that are dealing with cancer don't have that luxury. But care camps and COA camps has come together to try to send 100 kids to camp for free and that means all of their medical attention everything that they would need to deal with their cancer would be right there on site while they're enjoying hiking and camping and swimming and it's just it's around great. the campfire I love it I know yeah. they deserve that and it's just giving a little extra love and attention to kids um, that deserve it yeah right. absolutely a chance to be a kid and right. to be in nature which is also super yeah. healing this is a home sweet home for us here at least I may be far from home but this makes us feel like uh, home for me now, you know? That's fantastic. Yes, everybody's so lovable. And she made it out the elevator on her own. You did it all by yourself? <laughs> you were an independent two year old. Nice. You're an independent two. High five. Yes. So this is Mommy Joy. Mandy, come here. Mandy, and she's off. <laughs>